Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises to Yahweh and his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai. Yahweh is the name of the one true God, and Yahweh Shai is the name of his only begotten son, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus. And I want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And I want to send salutations to all the Akim throughout the four corners of the earth, exalting the name of Yahweh and his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai, in truth and in sincerity. All right, so this lesson is going to be about um, fighting for your salvation and knowing that we're in a fight um, against the devil. All right, because uh, the spiritual um, counterpart of Satan, um, you know, um, is is out to to sift sift us and um, you know throw us off our a game and make sure you know saying that uh, you know I mean we stumble, but uh, you know as the Bible says, a just man falleth seven times. Uh, you may stumble, but um, but that doesn't mean you have to, to fall. You know, it just means that, you know, you made a mistake and you have to continue, man. You have to continue in this thing. All right. We have to continue to fight for our salvation. It's all we got. You know, what I mean, when you are backed into a corner in a fight and, uh, you know, your opponent may be, uh, you know, saying getting the best of you. But you have to figure out a way to get out of that corner. You know, you got to figure out a way uh, to counter your opponent. And the way we counter our opponent um, is basically with the scriptures, man. You know what I mean? We turn to, uh, to the spirit. All right? We turn to, to the word because that is our weapon. We have the ultimate weapon. There is no bomb. There's no, there's no, there's no sword. There's no. There's no pistol that you can create more powerful than the word of God, the word of Yahweh. All right. And having the names of Yahweh and his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai, are the, <laughs> man, that is, is the most powerful force ever. You know, we have the greatest weapon. The point is, is the fact that you have to believe that. You got to believe that that's, that is the power. Like, you got to believe that that Yahweh is the most high, the highest, the most high, and nothing is for, too great for him. You know, no matter what we go through, no matter what we go through in the flesh, there's nothing too high for the Lord. And all we have to do is ask and pray for strength and fight for our salvation and fight for this truth. And fight for the Lord. All right. Because it's a fight. But the Lord left us the blueprints to fight for our salvation. Because, you know, saying, um, you know, saying, uh, like we 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 gotta fight, man, because you know, you know, they we we got a lot of opponents, man. You know, we got, you know, saying these different demons, man, we got our our in enemies, you know, Esau Edom. And all you other nations, man, and, you know, saying we got just a bunch of two-thirds that hate us. And, you know, we got, we got to go out in the elements and we got to deal with our everyday lives. We got to deal with everything, man. Ultimately, we have to deal with ourselves because we are our, our, our worst enemy. We can get in our own way. You know what I mean? We can overthink things, man. You know, you can, <laughs> you know, it's this flesh. We got to fight against this, the, the the flesh, man. You know, the flesh wars against the, the spirit, man. You know, it's a constant battle. It's all about competition. And we are competing, you know, for our salvation, period, man. It's a fight. You know, we got to fight to the very end, man. We got to fight, man. You know, this is, this is a heavyweight bout, man. <laughs> this is, these are the heavy hitters, man. This is it. And then we in the last round. We we are in the last round. <laughs> you know, we are in what they call uh, the championship rounds, man. All right? This is it. This is the last one. It's our last shot, man. And we got to get a knockout. <laughs> All 
All right, if we plan on winning. So I'm going to start with my first scripture. This is John 4 and 7. It says, submit yourselves, therefore, to God. Resist the devil and he will flee from you. All right. So we got to resist the devil, man. All right. We got to resist him. Meaning what? All right. Uh, put him away. All right. Resist. Stop. You know, we got to do that, man. We got to submit ourselves to the Lord, man. Which is what? Following these law, stages, commandments. All right. You know, saying uh, doing the best you can. All right. To fight against this flesh. All right. To get your mind right. To follow uh, the Sabbath. You know what I mean? And the high holy days and, and do whatever you can to keep your mind pure, man. And do what is what is good in the sights of Yahweh. All right. And to follow his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai. So when you submit yourself to the Lord, you actually resisting the devil, man, because you're not giving him any, 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 uh, any avenue in your spiritual life to come in and uh, throw you off your A game. All right. So when you're constantly thinking upon things that are spiritual and that are righteous, you know, what I mean, you're resisting the devil. That's how you resist the devil, man. When you're constantly feeding your spirit. When you're reading, studying the Hebrew, all right, you know when this word is uh, when this word is your front links, your front links, all right, meaning, meaning what? This is your your vision, your spiritual vision, all right. This is how you see things. You see everything through the spirit, all right, not through your carnal mind and how the world sees it, but you see things through the spirit because you're judging based off the spirit. When you watch a movie. And you start seeing things that are, you know, saying that are happening in a movie. You you watch them with a spiritual eye. All right. That's that spirit working in you, you know, or a TV show. Or if you're out driving your car, you'll see things that are spiritual around you. You may see 144. You know what I mean? You may see things like uh, the apocalypse is near or, you know what I mean? Like anything, man, you know. You know, saying or, you know, somebody with a bumper sticker on the car that says the Lord is coming, you know, things like that, man. Things you see in the spirit, you know, sometimes brothers even see demons on people, man. You know, it's all about resisting the devil by uh, cleaving unto the Lord, basically. And that's a part of the fight, man. You got to resist the devil. And I'm going to give that account how you how I did it. All right. This is a. Uh, First John five and ten. First John five and ten. It says, He that believeth on the Son of God hath the witness in himself. He that believeth not God hath not hath made him a liar, because he believeth not the record that God gave of his son. Alright? So you don't believe and, and, and what the uh the Lord has, man. All right? You don't believe in the record, man. All right? So how do you expect the Lord to fight for you, man, when you don't even believe in the record? You don't even believe in the Lord truly, man. All right? So, you you know, you got to believe, man. It's about belief. That's how you fight, man. That's how you cleave onto the Lord, with belief. All right? You have to truly believe in this, man. All right? That's what this is about. You truly have to believe. A lot of people, the reason why they fall out of this truth is because they, they stop believing. You know what I mean? I've seen it a bunch of times, man. Guys will wake up to this truth. It's so new and refreshing. And then when they actually have to actually do the work and they actually have to, you know what I mean, uh, cleave onto the Lord, and meaning you have to um, cut off certain things that you used to do in your, uh, your, uh, in your life, you know what I mean? <clears throat> you know what I mean? It come it becomes hard for people, man. And they can't continue, man. They, they tap out. They completely tap out, man. And they give up on their salvation. Why? Because they truly did not believe. Like it tells you in the book of uh John, the sixth chapter, how you know Yahweh Shai did all those miracles. And then when he gave a parable, 
you know what I'm saying, uh, drink of my blood, eat of, eat of my flesh, you know what I mean, <laughs> those people got offended and they left. And Yahweh Shai looked at his disciples and said, will you leave too? And they said, basically, man, how, why will we leave? You know, you have the words of eternal life. They stayed because they believed. The other people didn't because they, they were offended at the word. So they left. So they stopped believing. All right. You know, they, they, they just stopped believing, man. They didn't care. All right, I'm going to jump to uh, verse 18. It says, we know that whosoever is born of God sinneth not. But he that is begotten of God keepeth himself and that the wicked one touches him not. So the wicked one, which is the devil, all right, he will not touch you, man, because you believe. All right. Because you are born of, uh, of, of the Lord, man. You are born of Yahweh. Why you have a shot? You're born again. So if you truly believe and you're born again, the devil cannot touch you, man. He won't. He can't. The Lord won't, you know, even he, basically you can get touched, but the Lord will not allow you to um be taken out, man. He won't take this word away because you truly believe. The Bible says the Lord will not turn away a perfect man. And a perfect man is someone that is whole. Complete. That's what the word perfect means, to be complete. The Lord is not turning away a man that's complete, full of the Spirit. It's not going to happen. The Lord is with, with the elect, man. The, the elect are going to be whole. They're going to be perfect. They're going to present themselves as a living sacrifice. All right? They're going to put on those, those garments, man, or those spiritual garments and have that covering. All right? This is uh, Ephesians 6 and 12. It says, For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. That's what we wrestle against, man. We wrestle against all that, all right? You know what I'm saying? We wrestle against uh, spiritual wickedness in high places, all right? That's a, that's a fight, man. You know, that's a fight for for for, uh, for our minds, man, all right? It's, it's a constant battle, like I said, man. You heard brother say it all the time. It's a constant battle, all right? That's why the Lord said to gird up your loins, all right, like a good soldier, all right? Because we're the soldiers of the Lord, man. So we got to gird up our loins, man. All right? Because uh, it says, I'm going to read it again. It says, for we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against rulers of darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. And these these witches and warlocks are out here, man, trying to you know, throw us off our, our, our spirit, man. But... You know what I mean? We understand that, man. We're fighting against it, man. That's why I read that scripture in the beginning, man. Resist the devil, and, you know, when he shall flee. Matter of fact, I think I didn't even read that one. That's just the spirit, you know? But yeah, man. Yeah, we got to resist the devil, man, and, and he will flee from us, man. All right? We just got to resist him. I mean, keep him away, man. All right? That's what we have to do in order to make it. It's my last scripture. You now, so I'm gonna get these examples of Yahweh Shai, man. All right, this is uh Matthew's four, and I'm gonna start at one. And it says, "It says then was Yahweh Shai led of the Spirit into the wilderness to be tempted of the devil, and when he had fasted forty days and forty nights." He was afterwards and hungered. All right, so he was hungry. It says verse three. And when and when the and when the tempter came to him, he said, "If thou be the son of God, command that those stones be made of bread." And verse four. But he answered and said, "It is written, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of God." 
And what he read, he said, it, as it is written, all right, what he read was Deuteronomy 8 and 2, all right? Deuteronomy 8 and 2. He, he, he used the scriptures to fight against the tempter, the devil, all right? So we have to use his word to fight, man, all right? That's how he, he got out that jam, all right? And it wasn't over after that, man. <laughs> hey, man, you, you, you can throw one nice punch and stagger the devil, but he's going to come back, man, recover and come back. Verse 5, it says, Then the devil taketh him up on, into the holy city and setteth him in a uh, uh, pen, penel, penel of the temple and saith unto him, If thou be the son of God, cast thyself down, for it is written, he shall give in his angels charge concerning thee in thy hands. They shall bear thee up, lest at any time thou shalt dash thy foot against uh, a stone. And Yahweh Shai, uh, uh, it says, Yahweh Shai said unto him, It is written again, Thou shalt not tempt the Lord thy God. And, he, and what he quoted right there was Deuteronomy 6 and 16. So he's using the scriptures to compete against the devil, to resist him, all right? Verse 8 says, Again, the devil taketh him up into an exceeding high mountain, showeth him all the kingdoms of the world and glory of them, and saith unto him, All these things I will give thee, if thou wilt fall down and worship me. Then saith Yahweh Shai unto him, Get thee hence, Satan, for it is written, Thou shalt worship the Lord thy God, and him only shalt thou serve. And what he, and what Yahweh Shai quoted was Deuteronomy 6 and 13, or Deuteronomy 10 and 20. So the Lord used the scriptures, man, to can, can compete against the devil, man, and he resisted. All right? He resisted after that, man. All right? There was nothing he could do. There was absolutely nothing he can do, all right? Because it says it right here. It says, it says it right here. It says in uh, verse 11, it says, Then the devil leaveth him, and behold, angels came and ministered unto him. So then the devil uh, resisted and fleed, man. Fled away. So that's how you fight against the uh, this wickedness and all these demons, man, and, and the devil, all right, with this word and belief. You got to have that belief. So with that, I'm going to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And salutations to Yoakim. Shalom.